So on this channel, I reviewed so much different types of technology. It's unbelievable. Everything from headphones, to hi-fi systems, to speakers, TVs, game and attire, components. And I never thought I would review something that we're going to be going through today. As you can see from the title, yes, that is exactly what we're reviewing. So when I received an email from a company called one Two fit um, as soon as I saw the company name, I assumed they're a fitness company, they're going to be selling fitness attire and all that sort of stuff. And yes, there is a lot of technology that goes into fitness equipment. But when I read the word treadmill, that's when I started thinking, what the hell are they trying to get at here? Because obviously I hadn't finished reading the email. In my eyes, I just thought, a great, gigantic, bloody treadmill that's going to be sitting in my living room and my wife's going to kill me. Not exactly. So you can see the box behind me. It weighs about 45 kilos. It's not exactly that heavy. Treadmills can be a lot heavier, but... At first, I was a little bit sceptical because treadmill, you know, what's what's it to talk about? You press the button, you run, you stop. Well, this one's a tad different. So as you can see, it's in a flat pack box. And nine times out of ten, you see the treadmills in your personal gyms. They come with TVs and all this sort of stuff. They're huge, gigantic. Not this one. So what we're going to be doing is I'm actually going to unbox the entire thing in my living room. Well, I'd say unbox it. I'm going to unbox it, actually manage to lift it, get it onto the floor, and I'm going to show you exactly how it's built. So why don't we do that now? I am going to do a little bit of a time lapse because it is quite heavy, so it might take me a little while, but just bear with me. Now, this is what I mean. This is a treadmill that comes in this box. There's no extra boxes and there's no extra components. This is lit. this is literally it. This is all we get. So it's going to be interesting. I'm going to do a time lapse and I'm going to zoom in certain parts so you can see and then we're going to get it all set up. But just think about it. The entire treadmill and all components are in this single box. Just think about that. Mike, just before we go any further, just remember, I'm doing this on my own, but this should always be done by at least two people because it does weigh around 45 kilos. So that's definitely something to take in consideration. Don't follow my bad example. So first of all, I just want to show you this. So this is all we get for the accessories. So you get a small uh, little tub here of lubricant. So this is just for the bolts and nuts or anything that's starting to go loose. We also get a large, I believe this is an, uh, a size six Allen key. And we also get a very small power adapter. That's all we get because that's all we need. First of all, we can see the color we've got going on here. So they went for more of a dark mahogany wood, which I do like. And also just remember that there is safety stickers all over this thing telling you everything you do and don't do, especially when it comes to the rollers, same on this side. Now we're gonna come back to the screen in a second because that's gonna be a little bit more exciting. So we have their logo going on here, which I believe has got some security tape on it. So I'm gonna... Ooh. And there we go, there's their beautiful logo, that's the one to fit, and that looks absolutely incredible. So, quite a few other things. So, it looks, it's flat packed at the moment as you can see, that's the base, and then there's the board with all the electrics and everything. I'll go through all that when we actually get this set up, but it says in the instructions that all you need to do is grab this handle and lift. As you can see, that's extremely safe, that's extremely stiff, because of several reasons, so. I try and get the camera down here. So, here's obviously the hydraulic arms. This is what actually is going to propel the tripod to stand up. As we can tell, we have more safety notices. Now, inside here is a little lip. So, if I flick that out, we can see this lip is now sticking out. So, that's unlocked. If we go to this side, and it should just be underneath there as well. There we go, that's unlocked too. So this allows this to move that little bit higher, but there's a few other ones to know for. So, them two clips unlock the base of this part, but then we also have some down here, 
like that these lock the hydraulic arms down here the ability to lock these really is a huge safety thing as well so find the other one and there we go right so that's all unlocked now let's have a look see so if i grab one of these arms and lift up that moves that up that way so as you can see them arms down here have now locked out so what i can do is do that that locks it into place and that locks it into place so if i try and pull that down it's going nowhere but we can't really use a treadmill when it's like this can we so like i said if we pull this up lock that in place and then what we can do with these ones is lock that in place and we can lock that one in place now that's going nowhere no matter what the hydraulic alarms are locked in now to the display now let's see if this has got us i'm hoping this has a screen protector on because this is going to be extremely satisfying if so there oh no oh no but we can save it again we can save it again there we go happy days so we can bin that yeet that away and here we have it so we have this very long display going all the way across here all lc display and then we have some more of the mahogany wood going on here with a lot more other features so before i get this plugged in we'll go through some of them and we'll just start from there and go from here so one of the most important things on a treadmill is the emergency stop so as we said press this switch for an emergency stop if you do have any issues all you need to do is press this down and that springs down when we actually start this up i'll explain everything from there as well and then it clicks back in so like i said they've kind of went for a more dark wood or mahogany flavor going on here and then on this point we do have a little rubber seal which probably would be for the likes of a phone or anything like that that you're going to use for that so we do either side of here we do have some speaker grills as well so it does have integrated speakers so when you're listening you know when you're doing your running activities and all that you have them there so you can actually listen to music allows you to concentrate that a little bit easier so with the speakers you do get your simple volume control buttons your playing pause as well as your skipping the songs so that does come with this and then you have your basic treadmill uh, needs so we have the speed down speed up start stop and pause and then we also have some integrated speed settings as well so three six nine and twelve kilometers an hour so it does help out there on the arms themselves as you can see they're more of a mat but we do have the silver strips going on here these are for your pulse and heart rate so while you're running if you grab onto these they can actually take your heart rate which is really good to see now i'm going to get this plugged in and i'm going to pretty much show you what it's like when it's all set up So I've just got it plugged in, but I just want to show you a few things down here. So I know it's a little bit dark, hard to see, but here is where the main power outlet is. And then you also have your on off switch, but just to the right here, let's see if I can get a good angle of this. So just to the right there, as you can see, there is a also a critical breakdown reset. So if there's a breaker that goes bad or anything to do with the fuses, you can use that button there and it'll actually pop out. And then if you need to, you can click it in and reset it as well as the on off switch. So this is what the treadmill looks like when it's turned on. Like I said, full LCD screen. So everything from your steps, calories, and speed. You have your distance that you did run, total of steps, the max time, and also your speed. So if I click on start, three, two, one. Really nice little displays there going on. And then obviously we're at one kilometer an hour. So that's pretty much, is it one? Yeah, one kilometer an hour. So as we can see, I'm running, well, let's see, I'm walking very, very slow. But like I said, when it comes to the three, six, nine, and 12, if I click on three right there, so the speed's starting to now go up to three kilometers an hour, which is roughly a brisk walk. And you know what? It feels really comfortable, actually. It's weird. I know the ones that you get, say, I know the ones, say, you get in a gym are, you know, they're tens, 15, 20, thousands. So they're going to be the most secure things in the world. But have one in your house like this is really cool i have to admit it was easy to set up there wasn't any parts i needed to connect all i need to do was get out the box obviously like i said please use more than one person because it's safety related they're about 45 kilos but you don't need to have this up 24 7 if you do then fair enough obviously you can do so but you can fold this down it's got wheels on the back near the battery part with the heaviest part so you can just wheel this around your area your house or anything like that so I'll, i'm gonna stop that so it really is good. So I'm just gonna go for the emergency stop, see how that works, just to show you how safe it actually is. So I'm gonna click on six. 
I'm going to stand on the side just so uh, I don't get my feet caught. I'm going to click on six. That's going to start going. As we can see, it's getting faster and faster. If I go to nine, it gets even faster. And then obviously 12. 12 is going to be at its max speed. As we can hear, it's very loud, but if I'm about to have an accident, there we go. That took about three seconds to turn down. As we can see, everything's now went blank and it is now alarming. So this cannot be started again until I put the emergency stop back up. And there we go, we're back to normal. And then we can just start our exercise and we are good to go. So it is extremely, extremely safe, like I said. But same with the heart rate, we'll do that one now. So I'll quickly start this on a low one and we'll do the heart rate, which is from the handrails going on here, which is really good to see. So, so we have a look at that. If I grab onto the handrail like that, not sure if it takes two hands, give me a second. So yes, it does need two hands, like I said, but as you can see there, 92 pulse, which isn't too bad. I have, it is very warm in here and I have been doing a little bit on the treadmill, so it's gonna be a little bit raised. But as you can see, I'm going very slow, so it is marking my steps as well. So even if you don't want this as, say, a running treadmill, like, you know, a lot of people don't like, a lot of people don't like running. If you just want to use this as a step counter, then that's also brilliant. You're still getting physically getting your exercise, but going to the gym is is quite a controlling type of thing. It's a one of those environments where it can be very tricky for people that aren't used to gyms, me and myself included. I'm military, so I'm pretty much everywhere I go to a base or anything, there's gyms all around me. But for a lot of people, gyms aren't the most comfortable of areas because they're not used to going to them day in, day out. But I have to admit, something like this is gonna benefit you massively in the long run, especially when it's coming to January, you know what it's like. New Year's resolutions. I'm gonna talk while I'm actually walking on this thing, so it's actually quite interesting. I'm getting my steps up while talking to you guys, but I have to admit, going to the gym isn't the easiest of places to go. You know, a lot of people are used to them, so they go to them every day, every week and they understand the gym experience, but a lot of people don't have the courage to go there for some reason that I may not know. So this can be the the best way, I suppose, to allow you to get fit in the comfort of your own home, studio, area, or if you just want somewhere to run, you don't like running outside, so you just want somewhere to connect, and this is pretty much the perfect place you can do it. It has everything you need, you know, you've got already, you've got all your music set up as well, so if you want to connect either your phone, a USB, or the, aux cable which i totally forgot to say they also supply one of them so this is a retractable aux cable 3.5 mil either side so that plugs into the back i'll show you in just a second that plugs into the back of the treadmill itself so i have to admit that that is really cool it allows you to listen to your own music if you don't want to use it through headphones you can just blast it through the speakers that are integrated into the actual they've thought of everything and my own personal thing is is roughly around around the safety aspects you know if if the safety aspects are there, then I've got no reason why to believe in this product. You know, they've got signs everywhere regarding the hydraulic arms. They've got uh, things everywhere to do with emergency stop, how to use it. The manual is a mile and a half thick, so that's also something to consider as well. But I have to admit, this really is an amazing product. So I know it was a little bit weird for me to all of a sudden come out and be, by the way, we're reviewing a treadmill, but... Like I said, this channel is based around gadgets, technology. Now this is a great set piece of technology because yes, it's a treadmill, but it allows us to fold it down. It's easy accessible. It doesn't weigh a lot, but like I said, if you are gonna use it or lift it or move it around, definitely a two-man lift. Um, it's gonna be safer for yourself as well because the battery side of this is the heavy end and it is, it is heavy. But I have to admit, I like everything about it. Obviously, like I was saying, when it comes to going to the gym and all that, if you can't if you can't get to a gym or you're uncomfortable with gyms, this is going to be your new best friend. Like I said, gym equipment isn't exactly the cheapest, but the deals they have on the website at the moment, you have to go check them out. They're incredible. This is going to be the new like turning point of our of um of my place because I used to enjoy running, but because of an injury, I can't do it at the moment. But this is going to allow me to start off on a slow pace and actually work from my own home, allowing my rehabilitation to get 10 times better. So if you are in the market at all for looking at any form of treadmill or working out equipment, go down the links in the description. There's a link there dedicated to the one Two fit website. They have some amazing deals going on, so I really do suggest you go have a look. And if your New Year's resolution this year is to get fitter, start running more, Maybe you go down the links in the description as well and check this out because you will not regret it. This really is phenomenal. It has everything you need. And like I said, it's 
you click four little clips in and out and it unlocks uh, or locks. It's got wheels on the back of the battery base. You can just wheel it around your area if you want to change places. You don't have to have a huge amount of time to move this around. It really is simple. So thanks very much for watching guys. If you are interested in going to check out any of their other stuff, please check the links in the description. Uh, you'll be able to find it all there.